wanted to quickly show you how to use Excel to come up with the quadratic functions that we talked about in class today. Um, so first notice I have three sets of points. So I look at this as 0, 15, 5, 17.1, and 12, 22.2. So I think of it as an X and a Y. I'm going to highlight those six numbers. And then I'm going to insert a chart and I want to do a scatter. So this just makes it graph these, just graph those points. It comes up with the appropriate XY scale for that. After I do that, I want to right click so that it pops up this menu and I say I want to add a trend line. So the trend line will pop up and I'll ask you what kind of trend line do you want? Exponential, linear, logarithmic, right? It gives you choices. Default is it's going to come up linear, but that's not what we want. We want a quadratic. So remember, a quadratic is a polynomial. The degree is 2, which it's set to on default anyway. So once you go from the linear to the polynomial, you have the right thing. What's really going to make the big difference is when you go down to the bottom, it says display equation on the chart. So I want to display that equation. If you want to make it bigger, I'm just going to click on it. And up at the top where it says home, I'm just going to change the font size so I can really see it. So now I have my function, which is 0 0.025x squared plus 0.3x plus 15. So we've been using this as population. So make sure you pay attention to what year it starts at. What does zero stand for? And of course, I'm going to ask you then to project something in the future. So maybe I give you 15, then you would plug 15 in for X and it'll pop out an answer as well. Um, when you do that, pay attention to does 15, 17.1, 22.2, does that stand for hundreds, for thousands, for millions? That'll be important in your answer as well.